Have you ever heard of Shizuoka Prefecture? Shizuoka Prefecture is located about an hour by train from Tokyo, the capital of Japan. It is known for being home to Mount Fuji. Shizuoka Prefecture is currently making great effort to invite Indians to work for companies in Shizuoka Prefecture. Shizuoka Prefecture ranks third in Japan in terms of value of shipped manufactured goods at 17.15 trillion yen. In particular, high technology manufacturing of transportation machinery, such as automobiles and motorcycles, as well as electrical machinery, are thriving. And there are many global enterprises and high tech companies in Shizuoka that can make use of your skills. Japanese working hours are regulated under the Labor Standards Act and other laws. And if you work after the designated working hours, you will receive overtime pay under the law. After work or during holidays, you can play sports outdoors or relax by going to the sea or hot springs. There are also cricket fields. In addition, rent in Shizuoka Prefecture is half compared to Tokyo. Land is also inexpensive. So, living in a big house with your family is not a dream. There are many international preschools in the prefecture, so, your children can receive English education. Hello, I am Vimal. I work at the Kawane Hancho office of Zoho, an Indian IT company. Currently, there are five Indians working in the same office. Kawane Hancho is a close-knit community where people have strong bonds, so the Indian residents here actively participate in town festivals. Outside of work, during our free time and on holidays, we engage in a lot of activities such as cricket and soccer with the townspeople. Additionally, I have started strength training at the local gym. Recently, I brought my wife over from India to live with me here in Japan because I enjoy living here so much. I particularly love the clean and peaceful scenery of the town. Even taking a walk around the office area during a break has a therapeutic effect on me. For Indians, life in Shizuoka is full of new discoveries and experiences. If you're interested, I encourage you to give it a try. Next, we introduce the interview-based job fair hosted by Shizuoka Prefecture. Yes, uh, so when I was uh, doing my engineering in Pune University, I thought that the Japanese technology is really, uh, really amazing. So I was thinking to work in Japan since I, I started learning my engineering. The Shizuoka is very much peaceful and the Mount Fuji is also there, which I think is the most uh, favorite part uh, for me about the Shizuoka. And then the Suraga Bay is there, then the uh, then the a lot of scenery and the greenery is there, welcoming Japanese community is there. So if a salaried person is looking forward to have a high quality of life with peace together, then I think no one will miss this opportunity to work in Shizuoka. Yes. So I'm looking forward to any of the work which is there to do in the Kyoritsu Electric. But if you ask me that what is my favorite work to do, then I would say that uh, I will be looking forward to work in the field of robotics and the factory automation, which is the uh, very much uh, uh, of the great points of the Kyoritsu Electric Company. インドの方って、ま、数学理科系のお数学なんかを非常にお得意であるということと、え、あと英語が綺麗な英語を喋られるんです。欧米流の契約の概念、これしっかりしてらっしゃいます。そういう意味では同じ価値観をを、あの、共
、えー、ここ半導体の試験装置なんか中心なんですが、やはり現地で採用しているエンジニア、非常に優秀な方多いです。えー、そういう意味ではとっても期待しています。ソフトウェア系のものが中心で、まあ、場合によってはあのハードウェアの設計の方にお参りいただくことも可能性としてはあり得るかなとは思っております。In fact, India has one of the largest, youngest, and most talented skilled workers anywhere in the world. This young generation is capable of providing services to the rest of the world. I'm very happy that last year also, Shishokawa Prefecture organized such interviews and received a large number of Indian engineers' applications. And the region, I believe, has a very thriving high tech industry. The Embassy of India would be happy to work with Shishu's progression and have a connect between India and Japan to have more Indian engineers and skilled workers to come to Japan and work in Shizuoka province. Thank you.